Kevin. Yes, Kevin. How you doing? All right. Good, good, good. Right. Everybody, it's my old friend Kevin. Kevin Kitchen, my dog. Let's start with your name, full name, Kevin. Kevin Short Kitchen. Yeah. How old are you, Kevin? Thirty-four. Thirty-four year old. Where are you from? Denver, Maine. Where did you grow up? Denver, Maine. Yeah. What were you like growing up in Denver? Big fat, but obviously time changed. Yeah. Going just better than what it used to be. It is. Why? What did you see? What, what do you mean by that? Can you like elaborate on that for me, please? Um. It used to be a lot of trouble between Dan and me and Max for all time, but time changed, so I calmed down so we can walk the streets without having to pull up behind you kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So, what, what, uh, what, whatever did you grow up, 90s, 2000s, what, what, what times did you grow up, tell me about it. I yeah. know because I'm, I'm your friend, but I, I would like the, the public to know, how, like, what was it like for you, what years, what, what years did you grow up, what were your time, 2000s, 90s, best time yeah. for you? I don't know, I'm basically a mixture of all lifetime, you know what I mean? Because obviously, sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad, but obviously, you got friends around you, you're happy and you're proud within yourself. Yeah? What we, what we like, we're parenting. Mum and Dad, like? All right, brilliant. Yeah? I, I was Mum and that good, yeah? Yeah. What about your Dad? Me, uh, my dad was all right, but Mum and Dad split up when I was a child. Yeah? So obviously, I didn't get to see my Mum as often as what I do now. Right. Right, so about that, is he um, still alright knocking on old Colin, yeah? Yeah, yeah knocking on his. Good, he's, good. He's, um, I know I'm checking stuff like that because of him getting older, kind of thing, you know what I mean? Okay. But things like that happen to everybody, you know what I mean? Yeah, That's yeah, it does, it does, you're right. Yeah. But, um, what about working that way? Your dad and your mum, did they used to work and stuff when you were younger? Or? No, my dad used to be a bricklayer. Yeah. yeah. My mum, I don't know what she used to do. Yeah. What did you used to do in your free time? Did you have any brothers, sisters, siblings, anybody like family yeah. around you? Yeah, family around me all the time. Like, got two children, three months difference between each other. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, man. <laughs> Go on, brother. So, um, what, what was your brothers and sisters' names? How many you got? Go on, break it uh, down for us. There's Tony, one younger than me. Yeah. Then there's Andrew, one one older than me, then Colin, then Paul, then Sandra, oldest aren't my mum's children. Yeah. Then my dad's got some half brothers of mine. Yeah. And half sister, Darren, and Fergus, and Miguel. And then there's Melanie, my stepsister. Right. So obviously, there's basically my dad's got 10 kids, but my sister's Fuck got 10 kids as well. So, quite a big family then? Yeah, very big. Okay, now not messing about when it comes to trouble, are you? <laughs> <laughs> got the beef bear back in it, aren't you, bro? <laughs> definitely, definitely. So, right, moving on, did you get in any trouble growing up, or what was it like? Did um, you um, manage to stay out of trouble, or what? I don't know. Obviously, I used to get in trouble with feds and shit like that, but obviously, don't you? Are you a child kind of thing? You yeah, know every, I mean? everybody's got colourful past, bro. I can't I can't say nothing about no one's past. I'm just asking about yours, yeah? Yeah. And um, so, what leading up to you getting older then? What were it like when you got a um, bit older then? I don't know. I took magic mushrooms and they altered my mind kind of thing. What do you mean? So, obviously, like, because it's uh, acid based. Yeah. Obviously, the acid stayed on my spine kind of thing and obviously it takes up 70 years to disappear. What? I never knew this. So obviously, point is, like, with being ill, I hear voices and stuff like that, I'm tripping kind of thing all the time, but I do not see things, I just hear things. Right. So obviously, I got to the point where I had enough kind of thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I went to Violet's Bridge and that. Yeah. And end, up, uh, end up jumping off the 160 to 180 foot drop. Fucking no, uh, brother. Only reason I'm lucky to survive it is because it was raining for five days in a row. Yeah. So obviously, them five days saved my life. Right. Which obviously, I've got to only be glad for, for one person. That's God from up above. Understandable, yeah. But obviously, I don't know. It's like. Some people say, why did you do it, and question me, but there's no reason, well, there's reason, because obviously I suffered with an illness. Yeah. And during that illness, people don't understand what it's like, it's a bit ill, yeah. and they're not ill themselves. Yeah, I understand, brother. That's why I wanted to um, talk to you about it, because I don't think anybody understands like what you're going through, or what you went through, or, yeah. or what you still may be going through, do you know, because yeah, it's yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. There's some people out there, I've known people in the past do it, some may not survive, some have survived, as you know. Yeah, yeah. 
And it's not, it's not nice because you're my friend, as you know, I come to see you in hospital. And like, I know I've already spoke to you, but it's like for the people to understand, like, what is like, did you, how, since you then, how have you managed to move on with it? Like, what yeah. do you do to get by in there? I don't know, basically, I just forget, I shut it all off. I yeah. forget about it. Right. It's one big issue in my life. Everybody's going to question me about What's that? About jumping off the bridge. Yeah, you are there, yeah. But that's got to be respectful in my eyes. Right. Because the care yeah. and the bother. Understand. But obviously, to me, it's like the insulting me kind of thing. Yeah. You know, because dragging Taking me down. piss and that and having a laugh and pointing finger and that. Yeah, but. In a way they are, in a way they're not. Kind of gladiator, but who the fuck survives from a drop like that, though? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, a big yeah, drop, definitely. brother. Fuck, you know. An eye drop. And yeah, I, yeah. yeah. Well, I fucking, I put it on my music video, didn't I? And I want to yeah, talk about yeah, you on yeah, that yeah, cover, yeah, yeah. Like everyone knows, yeah. you're my friend Kevin from when I was a kid, yeah. He used to come and, if I got in any kind of madness, he used to back me up. You know what I'm saying? Go on, Luz, figure out. One, out. Yeah, but yeah, you know how it is, man. But, so what do you do with your free time now? Go on, get out. Leave me alone. Um, I don't know, basically I just go have a laugh with friends and chill out and have, we spend time with each other and stuff like that. Yeah. Obviously, a lot of friends, I see a walking street kind of thing and a lot of friends, there's like people like Dimo is in a wheelchair and stuff like that, he can't get out of his house. So, because he can't get out of his house, I have to go see him rather than come see me. Right. And what, what's that feel like going to see your friend and spending time? And does it help you clear your mind? Do you get to talk? Yeah, of course it does. It. Well, I can talk about things, but I like to keep it closed inside because I'm not very. Really... Every time I see you, you're always all cheerful and having a laugh and that, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's how everybody is anyway, you know what I mean? Yeah, then they be innit. That's what yeah. it's like, you know, we have to yeah. have a laugh, man. You have to live yeah. and learn, innit? But I, basically. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, no, do you want me to let you? Yeah, and then, um, it's like, I don't know. I can't work it out, because obviously, when you spend time with your friends, you're chilling out, you're having a laugh and stuff like that. When, when you see people that are like, I don't know, I can't explain it, because obviously, you, you have your friends and that, and then, you hear friends, and some friends you see, on that street kind of thing, and don't, talk and sit yeah. and chill and stuff like that so obviously it's hard because you get you get friends for a lifetime obviously you bong with friends you die with friends kind of thing yeah i trust that's how it goes isn't it let's have a look at it in a minute let's have a look sorry about but yeah you enjoying the weed though yeah yeah. Yeah, better than like. Fuck out, man. Has it? <laughs> yeah, I don't smoke it after. Yeah, fuck me. We're not going in. Look at the size of his bastard. Get out. Get. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see you smile, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm going to go. Get it, there, fuck. I'm going to go. Get I'm going to go. This weed's not fuck out, man. It has. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked man thing, innit, brother? Just. <laughs> it's right, though, innit? You have to enjoy life, innit? And smile. Yeah, yeah. Look at this little fucker. He yeah, enjoys yeah. life. He's fucking got one eye. This cunt still smiling, innit? <laughs> innit? <laughs> he always has a smile with your foot in his mouth. Doing <laughs> <laughs> it's right, innit? Yeah, yeah. too right. Fuck it up. But it's nice, man. It's nice. Trust me. But yeah, I was, so I was family anyway now. Mom and dad and dad and that nowadays. Um. I don't see my dad as often as what I used to. Yeah. But I see my mum every day. Right. So obviously, I know my mum more than I know my dad now, kind of thing. Yeah, it swapped over, kind of, yeah. Yeah, because obviously, I was all my dad when I was a youth. Yeah, yeah. Growing up and not seeing my mum. Yeah. But now to the point where I can see her, I see my mum as much as possible all the whole time, every day, kind of thing. Yeah, man. Trust me. Do you know what, but it's, um, it's nice to hear your opinion and your point on everything, you know, your views. Because a lot of people, like I said, won't understand. No, and this no. is why I'm doing it, you know, so you can say your piece on it. Yeah, yeah. And then people don't need to ask you on street now, do you know what I mean? But at the end yeah, of the day, yeah. they can leave it at that now, can't they? Yeah. And we can, we can like, close book on that one day, can't we, brother? Yeah, Start yeah, a new yeah. chapter on yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Fuck you, you know, that, loving that one, aren't you, kid? Young Bob Marley here. <laughs> 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 Man like Bob, you know. <laughs> Go on, Bob. <laughs> Kevin. 
My fucking brother. But yo, respect, bro. Thanks for taking your time out. Coming right wrong hand, in it? Yeah, man. Taking your time out. Coming to see us. Yo, big up the Abstain family, innit? Aye. Every time, bro. Yeah? You got auto set at camera yourself? Um. Shock my now, I shouldn't be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> shit, son, shit. <laughs> yeah, man. Respect, brother, yeah? Peace, yeah. one love. One love.